continuing on with the valve gear brings us on to the radius rods. These are quite complex in their shape and I think will prove quite interesting to make. I'm going to make each rod from a solid piece of mild steel. So the first job is to bring these pieces of stock down to 11.9 by 6.3 mil and then to length at 69.85 mil. Next I use a simple jig to hold each part and then centre drill and drill the three holes for the pivot pins. Next I apply some blue and partially mark out the outline. As is normal for me this is just to help prevent me from making some stupid mistake whilst I'm working from the DRO. I then go on to drill a hole at the end of the slots at each end. 3mm for the combination lever and 4mm for the expansion link. Whilst I've got the workpiece clamped to the milling machine this way, I then go on to chain drill to remove as much of the material as I can. To open out the slots I use a slitting saw. Returning to my theme of not always using machine tools, I move back onto the bench and reach my files and hacksaws to finish off the profile. Given my reluctance to work with files, I am actually quite pleased with the results I'm getting, but my jury is still out as to which is the quickest approach. To finish off the profile, I put a slight taper on the rods, with the combination lever end being slightly thinner. All that remains is for me to make and fit the pivot pins for the lifting links. I would like to say these are just a simple turning exercise, but I actually really struggle to hold work pieces this small in the lathe, something I'm going to need to address sooner rather than later. And as you can see here, rather than brazen them into position, I fit them using Loctite 648. Thanks for watching.